But th this infrastructure bill is about two things. This is about putting money in the pockets of the American people who've had a rough go for the last 40 years, and this is about taking on China. Now, we've seen in the last couple of weeks, CEO pay since the 1970s has gone up 1,300%. We've seen that the top 10 wealthiest, 10% uh, of the wealthiest people in this country own 90% of the stocks. And so this bill is about how do we get money in the pockets of people. Uh, universal preschool, that's one year less of child care that a family has to pay. That's money in their pockets. Capping child care at 7% of your income, that's money in your pockets. Helping seniors with glasses or hearing aids, that's money in their pockets. A tax cut, finally, for working people, not for the top 1%, but for families, that's money in their pockets. And if we don't recognize in this chamber and down the hall that China is a looming threat, not even looming, they're here. Semiconductors, they outmanufacture us. Uh, electric vehicles, they outmanufacture us. Communications equipment, they outmanufacture us. Pharmaceuticals! Our seniors get their pharmaceuticals from China. When are we going to wake up? When are we going to have the guts to level the playing field? The guts to take on China. The guts to do what's right so our kids and grandkids can thrive in the United States. We have got to make these investments. We've got to make them now. Washington has to wake up or we're going to, the next bill we're going to have to pass is Mandarin in all our schools because the game's going to be over. Yield back the balance of my time.